It's said that when children find true love, parents find true joy. Uh, it is, however, with great sadness, however, that Kevin could not be with us today to celebrate that joy. I know for certain, though, we never lose people we love even to death. They continue to participate in every act, thought, and decision we make. On this special day, Kelly, you can take comfort in knowing that your dad is here with you in so many ways. It's a very special day, your marriage to Kelly. Okay, today I can picture your dad and Kevin having a few cocktails, both wearing their tuxedos, trimmed with uh, the red suspenders and the, their favorite NHL hockey team socks, and your dad donning that familiar smile, that grin he always had on his face. I know your dad loved Kelly. He would be very happy and excited, would welcome Kelly with open arms to his family. And to both Kelly and Stephen, I was fortunate enough to know both your fathers. And if they were here today, I think the advice from both of them would be, always put your family as your number one priority. Because as you all know, that was their number one priority. Although it would be easy to make this day a sad occasion, Kelly, Kevin would want us want to see us all happy, celebrating, and full of joy. Uh, just like you today, you've been laughing all day. That's how Kevin was. He laughed. He had that dumb grin on his face. He always laughed. <laughs> you know, and he wasn't happy unless everybody else around him was happy and having fun. That's, you know, and I see it in you, and I see it in Chris. You know, you guys have the same sense of humor as your dad had. He would agree that happiness, that this day is for happiness and looking for looking at and for looking ahead he would be so pleased that Kelly and Stephen found each other although Stephen I'm sure he'd be taking you aside and sharing a few words with you probably referring to the Lord's name I'm sure once or twice as only Kevin would say in giving advice and protecting his only daughter Kelly met the world to Kevin he would have loved today's big occasion I can picture him in his tuxedo holding the floor with those one-liners of his that would always make you laugh and only he could get away with so let us be thankful that Kelly and Stephen are creating a new life together. I know that Kevin and Doug would have walked around all day with the biggest, proudest grins on their faces. Let us raise a toast to Kevin and know that he will walk beside Kelly and Stephen forever and for him to give us a smile from above and let us know he's okay. Cheers, Kev. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you so much. I did a good job. <laughs> It doesn't seem like it right now, but standing up here and speaking with everyone has been part of the day that I have been looking forward to most. Because I realize there's very few times in life, if there's only once, that you have the opportunity to be surrounded by all the most important people in your life and thank those who have, such, who have had such a great impact. And since our engagement, I have been looking forward to this opportunity. I know you are here because you walk with me every day. Thank you for showing me what a man, a husband, and a dad should be. You are the standard that I have held Stephen to, and you and I know you are the standard he holds himself to. While we both know that standard is unattainable, I have no doubt Stephen will spend his life trying. <laughs> no, you have left me in good hands. about 16, my dad told me, in his eyes, there would never be anybody good enough for me. But the right person will be the one who pushes you to be better than I already am. Since the day I met you, you started making me better.
I don't know how I was chosen to be in this fairy tale. You were my first kiss. You're going to be my last. Other than that, everything in between is just the adventure, and I couldn't ask for anything more. 